All right, what's up? Back with another video. So today, I want to show you guys our setup for two people plus a dog. Um, so we'll get right into it. This is my two-person tent. It's a Nemo Galaxy tent. They don't make these anymore. There's a, I think they replaced it with one that's slightly lighter. Uh, this one's, I think, just under five pounds. Um, but yeah, then in here, well, let me first say, when you are backpacking or camping with significant other, it can be nice to be able to share some warmth. Um, not always easy to do with sleeping bags. Uh, if you have someone who likes snuggling, I'll tell you, this is the perfect setup. So, in here, we've got sleeping bags from REI. Got the Radiant 19 and Sierra 20. Cool thing is, though, they zip together. So, this is the men's version this is the women's version if you get the two versions like that and there's a couple different ones they make but these are just two that are compatible together they come in long and regular these are both longs uh, you'd want them to be the same that way as well um, and they'll zip together um, you can use them separate if you want but it's nice to be able to zip them together so then next issue that we ran into was when we had these and we'd zip them together problem was that we'd have two separate sleep pads and those sleep pads would always kind of separate throughout the night and we'd end up just kind of in the middle with no sleep pad so that leads me to the next thing this is also made by nemo this is a Two person, I believe it's a queen size sleep pad. It's got a foot pump here to blow it up, but it, uh, this is the first time we're using that. Um, it, its weight is about five pounds, so it's not super light. Uh, it does pack down fairly small. It's a little expensive, I got it on sale also from REI um, but it's I think going to be very comfortable so the next we've got another sleeping bag here this is just a little sleep pad for Lenny to lay on um, yeah not a whole lot of extra room in here I don't know if she's gonna settle in there with us so what we might do is, the tent has these little alcoves for gear, one on this side and one on that side. Uh, we might put her out here in this. Um, we'll just have to come up with a way to make sure she doesn't get out, because she could definitely get out under that. But yeah, this is our setup for the night. I think it's gonna be really nice. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be really comfortable. Uh, definitely check out some of this gear if you and your girlfriend, wife, boyfriend, husband, whatever, are into camping together. It's a really nice setup, really comfortable, and yeah, pretty cool. Um, I also got like a couple's setup for hammock camping. I'll show you guys that sometime. Uh, it's also pretty neat. But yeah, this is what we're using right now. Uh, eventually, I might get something a little bigger or something with like a separate compartment for the dog. But yeah, we're going to see how this goes. This will be her first overnight. I'm a little, little concerned with all the ticks. Um, we've picked... 16 ticks off of me, Amanda, and Lenny since they got here. So that's a lot of ticks. Um, it is, 
kind of the prime of the season for them now. This is May 1st. Um, and we did have to go through like a bit of a meadow area to get back here. So definitely, definitely a lot of ticks here. We're going to have to keep checking ourselves, checking her, making sure that we don't get any attached. Luckily, they've all been dog ticks. Uh, none of them have been like the really small deer ticks, which are more common to carry Lyme's disease. Uh, so that's good at least, but I don't really want any attached to me. I don't want any attached to the dog. So we're going to have to keep on top of that. So that's pretty much it for what we got going here. Um, I'm going to head over, get the fire started. We're going to make some food, have a relaxing evening. I probably won't video any of that. I just, we need some, some chill time. So probably going to put the camera away for the rest of the evening. But I'll check in probably tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll report how the night went, how the uh, how this setup worked for with a dog. Um, I know the sleeping bags work really well. We'll see how the sleep pad is. I'm really hoping she doesn't puncture it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, check in tomorrow morning. Good morning. So, a little after seven o'clock right now. Slept great last night. Woke up once, had to go to the bathroom. Um, but other than that, I slept the whole night. Lenny and Amanda just got up. Um, Lenny stayed in all night. She didn't have any issues being in the tent. Uh, a lot of the night she slept up here by our heads above the air mattress um, and then early in the morning she climbed onto the air mattress and slept in between our heads <laughs> sorry battery died there so I had to swap over to a different battery um, Amanda needs water Hi guys. <laughs> she's giving Lenny breakfast uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I think it was a good first camping trip for Lenny. Um, I think in the future she'll be ready to go on a, a longer trip. One that's not such a controlled location as this. Uh, the only thing that was a bit of a problem was, I mean, with all the ticks out here, we couldn't really let her run and let out some of that energy that she has. So, um, I'm, I'm really impressed though, that she slept and stayed still in the tent from about 10, 10.30 till about 7 a.m. That was, that was pretty good. I really didn't expect that for her first time. Um, but now I'm gonna get out of this tent. I'm going to join Amanda over at the campsite and we are going to make a fire, make some breakfast, and do some white chocolate chip blueberry pancakes with some barrel aged shag bark hickory syrup and some bacon. Oh, I need some bacon. Alright, that's going to be it for today. Um, so I'll see you next time, and hopefully we'll be back soon with another interesting video. And till then, see you later.